Look at the size of some of those freaking fish. I'm talking monsters. The filter is officially plugged in. Holy smokes, check him out. Oh. Hear him? No. I told you, I told you. Right through the net. This is like a freshwater sea turtle. Oh, got him! Oh my goodness! We got a little shade cover on here. If you guys didn't watch the video, of course, building this massive pond, you got a lot of catching up to do. But for those of you that did, today's the fish transfer. And if you look closely, I have got all the underwater lights installed down there at the bottom. What is going on, Krills? Welcome back to another video. Last night, I started filling this pond, and this morning, we're gonna finish filling it. This roughly 5,000 gallon aquarium is absolutely insane. It is crystal clear ready to go. I cannot wait to move all of my fish into here. Now, since it's outside and unfortunately the blue herons and big birds will come up and snatch my fish if they had the opportunity. Back here, along with all of our filtration, if you look closely back there, all of our filtration, we got the UV down there at the bottom. But back here is this net and underneath, I put a bunch of screws. I'm gonna have to hang this net on here right after we put all the fish in. So there will be a net on top just to prevent the arowana from jumping out. And of course, not only just the arowana from jumping out, but from the blue heron, the big birds, from picking my fish straight out of the pond. So the net has two purposes. Look at this pond though. <laughs> Is that not just insane? It's almost filled up too, it's almost there. We got another like six inches, eight inches to go. All right, just plug the filtration in. And oh yes, sir. Oh yes, we got water flowing. It's official. You know, I'm not gonna lie, I thought the flow would be a little bit better than that. Maybe it's still filling up or something, but that thing is ripping. The filter is officially plugged in. Yoo-hoo! Hey, Gio. yoo <laughs> Are you coming over for the fish transfer later? I'll be there. Okay. I'm in there like swimwear, baby. I'm catching those catfish with my feet, my hands, Maybe even my mouth. The next step for us today, though, is to get the water the heck out of this big pond right here. Dropping this pump all the way down to the bottom. And it's gonna take a few hours, so we wanna get started on it right now. Open this up. This big aerator is going outside in the pond as well. And God forbid the power ever got shut off, this baby mama will keep her flowing. Mia, another action-packed day at the farm, baby girl. Let's get this thing plugged in. Look at those fish down there. Holy smokes, it's gonna be insane. The water is a flowing, boys and girls. We've got a yard full of water coming soon. But that doesn't really matter because this yard is gonna be a pool here in a couple months and it actually starts next week, which is incredible. The digging of the pool starts. And this is fresh water. I've been dumping salt water in the yard and as you can see, it's killed everything. Regardless, that don't matter because we don't need the yard. A pool's coming. Anyways, as you can see, we've got the pump. It's gonna start draining all the water down and then it'll be time for us to start netting giant fish out of here. I'm talking monsters. Look at the size of that Paku right there. Whew. It's gonna be interesting. The pond is officially completely empty. Look at our monster fish in this pond. Big ear dozen catfish, giant red tails. I mean, this is gonna be quite the adventure. You can see the little bit of muck. That's no longer gonna be a thing, which I can't stand that it did that. The filtration needs to be fully upgraded in this pond. I've actually had it off for the last, I don't even know how long. There's been no filtration, just fresh water going in running out into the pond outside, and then more fresh water coming in. So just a big circulation of fresh water, which is great, but that one actually is just straight filtration. It's obviously not gonna get as, as nasty as this one. It's gonna stay so clean out there. Look at the size of some of those freaking fish. Like, look at the Baku, that's nuts. So today the mission is to get all these monster fish out of this pond and into the new one using this net right here. My yard is completely full. Now for the sole purpose of the fact that I want to be able to see the fish go in, I have not plugged in the aerator, but as you can see, it is over there. It's ready to go, it's bolted in. And then over here we have, uh, I put a 45 right here on the end, which is making that water shoot this way a little bit more. I like that better. We're ready, we're officially ready for fish. Now all we gotta do is wait for Geo to get here, so I have an extra hand, and it's game time. Look who's here. Hello, hello. Geo and Tommy. Hey. Tommy, Geo, <laughs> fish. Dude, this is gonna be we nuts. Got, uh, this is this is gonna be a time. <sighs> I'm gonna I hop remember, in. I remember how exciting it was when we moved them from the pond all the way up front. If you guys remember that. Into here. Yeah, that was a lot of fun. Now we're moving them once again. And this Paku needs to get out of here. He's like yeah. swimming sideways. So he's number one. Let's get him. First fish, the Paku. Well, that was easy, dude. He's, he's, he's ready to go. Holy smokes. 
Yeah, how That's heavy is that? Massive. Oh, dude, it's like SeaWorld Splash Zone right here. Oh, oh, whoa! Oh my god, dude. He's so heavy. Holy <laughs> cow! Oh. Oh. Get out. Get out. <laughs> Get out. <laughs> Holy smokes. I'm so. Look at the size of that thing. That's insane. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Oh, I can't run through that, brother. First fish to enter the new pond. Holy smokes, check him out. Oh, fish number one <laughs> is in. How heavy was that thing, dude? Very heavy, probably 20 pounds. Hey, fish number two. Who should we get next? It's a great question. I think we should go get Thump. Thump? I was thinking of him at, at first. I'm here to Thumpy. Thumpy versus Paul. Now, something really cool about this video is my typical videos are just boom, boom, boom. It's very fast paced. This one I kind of want to keep raw. I'm going to keep it pretty raw. Just walking around, literally netting these fish, bringing them to the pond so you guys can see it all like firsthand as if you're here hanging out with us. This so. is step for step for the PC. Step for here. step. Oh, Aaron Wanna said, come catch me. Nope, you're last. <laughs> Dump. Oh. <laughs> Got him. Holy bass. Dude, that is a stud. Get it? Holy bass. Check out Thump, boys and girls. Oh my goodness. What a dude. beast. Oh, dude, that might just be the biggest bass I've ever seen. See you later, but oh, he's sucking on my thumb. <laughs> he's sucking on my thumb. Go, buddy. Woo dude, that is incredible. Oh, it is so sick to see him around the structure, too. Wow. Dude, Whoa. the GoPro footage is unbelievable. That's incredible. Like, unbelievable. Bro. I don't even care about the GoPro footage. That <laughs> is incredible, brother. Guys, that's two fish. Look at them. Both fish sitting right there. They're gonna get nice and comfortable in here, and it's gonna be a totally different ball game. Who's next? Who's next? Uh, uh, Let's go uh, find uh. out. <laughs> All right, Wes, we're gonna blow the screen here, but that bass didn't do me too well. <laughs> Dude, that thing has gone Woo! massive. Big ol' Arrowween. Big ol' Arrowween. He's got huge. Let's go, Arowana, Arowana, go! This one I'm definitely not holding, and I definitely just want to get into the pond. Oh, oh. he did himself! <laughs> That's why I didn't want to stress him out. Whoa. Just let, let him do his thing. Whoa. Wow, that was awesome. So much cooler being outside. Hundred percent, dude. Hundred percent. This is this is probably the best thing you've done all year. I won't lie. You like this project? Yeah, way better. The blue, like the blue circle pond, was cool and all, but dude, this is just natural. Looks natural. Yeah. And you can see right over them. It's not so high. Who's next? Oh, I I'll say that every time we get in here. So who's next? <laughs> <laughs> I think. Uh, I think we get the guard. Look at that black beauty right there. Oh wow, he made that easy. Yeah, but he's not gonna make it easy once he's in the net. Oh yeah, because he's biting it already. Yeah. There you go. All That's right, let's good. go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Hold the net. Let's go! Bro, he's jet black. Jet wow. black gar. Come on, get your lip, get your face out of there. He's out. He doesn't know he's out of the net yet, but he's out. <laughs> Holy smokes, bro. He is so much darker when he's outside. Beautiful fish. That right there is a melanistic tropical gar. One of the coolest fish that I've got, one of the most expensive fish that I have as well. And he has been growing extremely fast. Same with that arowana. I think uh, I think we should get some catfish going here. <laughs> oh, he just got stuck. Oh, brother. They ripped on the back. Did they? No. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Two for one, baby. That royal has gotten huge. Bro, it is crazy to see the growth of these fish. The way they have grown is just incredible. Like that knife fish, is, it was a baby when I put it in there. And look at the size of that. He's oh, in. Dude. There See he goes. Later. He's going to go find that, that, that structure yeah, he's and he's going to sit in that. That's one thing that the clown knives are going to love, the structure. They love that little cave area there. You can see he's sitting next to it already. They're going to love that. And here is our giant karami, one of my favorite fish I have. Look at the size of that fish. You see all the veins. Really, really pretty fish. He's not injured, everybody. Those are his actual veins. Yeah, that's just what they look like. Look at that. See you, bud. If you look inside the cave, there's actually two fish hanging out inside there right now. And I knew they were gonna like that cave. That's just a little bit of the entire structure that's down there. These fish, for the most part, just swim around. They're so big at this point. But it's nice to have actual structure 
uh, in this pond compared to the other where there was none at all really. Let's put this in the new pond. Dude, the size of that rib saw. Holy sh! <laughs> Dude, it got so big! <laughs> Tommy, you've been feeding these things damn good, yeah. brother! <laughs> Dude, this is crazy! Holy... Look at the size of that thing! Oh, he's, he's gonna, gonna rip, your net. rip the net! Oh my god! Dude. Oh! Whoa, whoa! Oh my gosh! Get him out of the net! Get him out of the net. I couldn't even I couldn't even pick him up. I don't want to stress him out. I don't want to do anything more than what he was already doing to himself in that net. <laughs> but dude, he ripped some holes in this thing. Look at that. Oh wow. Well good thing we got him out first. Bro, he his been fins last. were like literal razor blades. I was trying to get a video of them. That is crazy. At the very bottom of the pond, I am gonna add the same stick that we had in the other one. I just think it would look good. Why not? Stick it right here. The plecos like to suck on the wood too. Right there, guys. That is that, some wood. That's, that's wood. Yeah, that right there, that's a stick. Wood. Is this a rock? Guys, this right here, I traded Camp Kennan my giant Mata Mata turtle for this turtle. Yeah. A big old fly river turtle. This is like a freshwater sea turtle, pretty much, is exactly what these are. This is called a fly river turtle. Very beautiful species. And uh, I've got two of these actually, but this one's going in. Okay. And he was ready, as you can tell. Ready. Mia, what are you doing? What are you, what are you doing? <laughs> Wagging her tail like totally fine. Look at her. Oh. 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 <laughs> <laughs> All right. Sounds good, dude. She's like, Dad gave me permission to get dirty. Now I'm really rolling. <laughs> I think I'm gonna go this time for a red tail. Holy. Oh my gosh, dude. That thing's gonna be heavy. Oh my gosh. Holy. Bro, they so got so big. Dude. All right, I'm gonna make this as fast as I can. Ready? Yep. This fish right here is probably worth like three to four thousand dollars, which is crazy to think how big they've gotten and just how much they've went up. Look at the tail. <laughs> Hear that? Hear that? All the plecos. We've got two rhino plecos, and they get that name because they have this little, this little horn right here. It almost looks like a rhinoceros horn. And then this is the albino pleco that I got years and years and years back, and has since just grown so much. It's really cool to see the growth of all the fish. It's like one of my favorite parts about doing these fish transfers. This is the third time we've moved, fourth time we've moved these fish. Originally from the farmhouse, then from there into the front pond, from the front pond into here, and then from here into there. And eventually they're gonna get too big for that pond. We'll have to move them out or disperse them. But until then, this is where they're going. And uh, all these plecos are up next. And the thing about these plecos, I found one on the side of a bank of a pond and like hours later just dried up. I pushed it in the water and it, and it swam away. So they, they're good at water for a while. They breathe air. As you can see, we don't have to run these ones. We <laughs> could just walk them. <laughs> I could put them in this puddle right here and they would survive. Do a little sucker face on them? Yeah, it looks a lot like you. <laughs> what? This is the little brother. It's like Tommy. Aw, little bro. Little bro. <laughs> and then the, of course, beautiful albino pleco. And that's me. And this one is you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. There it goes. And those are the ones that'll keep the algae off the dang walls in this thing. Now, as we add fish, this water is going to fog up quite a bit. We have all the gravel at the bottom that I attempted to rinse, but you only could really get so much. Just like the saltwater pond, as these fish kick up the bottom, it'll filter through and just become clear over time. So bear with a little bit of fogginess as we add fish into here. I'm gonna go back here and plug in that aerator. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Dude, these fish are literally gonna be in heaven. I think I'm gonna get beast, our biggest fish, our largest fish. I never liked doing this, but you know, new pond, new surroundings, gotta do what you gotta do. Come here, beast. Holy, Holy cow. I don't even know if a net is big enough for this fish. It's not. It's broke. No! I told you. I told you. Right through the net. I told you he was gonna powerhouse right through that thing. Alright, we're gonna deal with him last. <laughs> the other fish. <laughs> Oh, 
Look at the pants. Wow. Oh, he went through the hole that the Mr. Mr. Beast, Beast made. made. Yeah. <laughs> Anyways, red tail in there. First red tail. In Second the pond. red tail. Well, this is the first original. The other original. one's albino. He just pulled the net out of the back of the pond, and I'm sitting here wondering why we haven't been using this one the whole time. It's because this one. No, it is rubber. I thought it wasn't rubber. <laughs> well, uh... It's a lot bigger of a net. All I know is I need a nice shower after this. Just grab that. Platinum. One of the most beautiful fish, if honestly, if not the most beautiful fish that I have, this is the platinum red tail. Take a look at just how beautiful that fish is. That platinum red tail catfish. That is beautiful. See you later, bud. Wow, that pond is really starting to get foggy now. As the fish starts swimming around. But uh, yeah, have to clear overnight. But man, oh man, is this crazy, guys. One heck of a transfer for sure. Oh my gosh, he's got Mr. Beast. You gotta pick him up fast, he's gonna rip through that one too. Keep him out of water. Oh wow. All right, brother, Tommy, come on down. This is a two man's job. Yeah. Ready? I'm gonna pick him up, put him on the ground right away. Put him on the ground right away, put him on the ground. Not fully under the ground. Yeah. Right above. All right, good. Holy All right, come on, beast. Dude. This one's important to me. It is a massive hybrid catfish. This right here is exactly what a red tail and a tiger shovel nose mixed together looks like. Let me get him to come out of the net without getting his freaking fin stuck. Wow, he's right in there. I'd honestly rather have it like that than have to pick him up and show you guys and everything. Um, as much as I would want to do that. One of our larger red tail catfish right here. This is a beast, look at that red tail. When we were in the Amazon, uh, Brenton actually went out and caught one of these. I really wish I would have loved to do, but I never had the chance. Look at that yellow and red, bro. Dude, the tails are awesome. Awesome fish. This is like the most chillest red tail. Look at the colors. Look at that red tail. And that yellow body. One fish right there. Such a beaut. I was gonna try to show you because he was chill, right but in. no. <laughs> I tell you what, Caferos, this is one heck of a transfer. Definitely the most uh, intense transfer, uh, especially because it's quite the run. I mean, last time it was from the front to here, which is different. Yeah, I feel but like the we had more were people. Half the size, dude. And and we had more people. And we had Daddy yeah. Finn and, and yeah. Jaquan. <laughs> we are gonna get one-eyed Mr. Beast's best friend. Well, that was <laughs> very easy. Freaking monster, bro. It's not as hard when they only got one eye. As you can see, take a look at the head here. Look at that. Yeah, no eye. Non-existent on that side. No eye on that side right there. See ya, buddy. <sighs> Easy to catch him with this net. This is what, um, we have no more red tails. This is the last, last one. Last red tail, yeah. And this net is strong, dude. We meet again back over here at this pond, man. We meet again at the location where all these monsters are being let loose. Here we go. Let's see if I can get him to come out the net a little bit. So you can try to show him the, the true colors and... <laughs> Goodness gracious. Hold a bit knocked out and drop it <laughs> Hear him? <laughs> see you make that... <laughs> see you, buddy. That's Woo! awesome, dude. I want to just fall back. Just lay in there. Me too. It's so hot. It's so hot. But I love this. You're so hot. I mean, uh, it's so hot. <laughs> what the f***? Oh, yeah. Yappy! Yappy! My buddy Foddy also gave me this beautiful fish. This is called the giraffe nose catfish. Look at the colors. Hence wow. why it gets that giraffe nose name. Wow. Like, one of the most just beautiful fish. I am going to let him straight out, though. There he goes. Cut back on the GoPro footage as this pond has gotten a little more foggy. But that giraffe nose has gotten twice the size as well. Everything in here has grown twice the size since I've put it into there. Everything doubled, especially that rib saw. That was crazy. <laughs> oh! I got it without getting in. That's a first. Look at that beautiful fish right there. Massive iridescent shark. He got big! Oh, it's such a pretty fish. All right, uh, I think we have like three more fish. Which, we have three or two? Three. Get that one <laughs> Three. Two, we have a peacock and two marble decaros. I don't see you. I promise I don't see you. Let's go. Let's go. Let's Got him. Go. Dude, it's crazy. I've had this fish since it was like four inches long. The thing has gotten huge. And too. now he's massive. Look how beautiful that peacock is. Nice and fat. Eats a lot. And it's grown so much since we put it in. That tail is beautiful. 
Oh! See ya, buddy. Cute. That's Hector would do. Oh! Red ants. Really? Wow, that little energetic. This fish right here, I've had since it was like this big. And it's crazy, because a lot of these fish, I've had for almost six years now. Wow. I've had them since the Loxahatchee house, which was the very first farm. The very first one. And as you can see, some grow more than others, but for the most part, they're all much bigger than they used to than they used to be. One more. We're almost there. The very last fish is coming out. The very, very last one. And that is a monster marble Dakara. One of the biggest, I think the biggest marble Dakara that I have. See him over there? He must feel so crazy in here. He's like, am I really in here by myself? Holy smokes. Oh my, got him! Oh, that, baby. oh my Ooh. goodness! Internet! Now it's super cool. I named this guy Nemo a while back. You wanna know why? Look at his fin. See that big fin right there? And then you can see this little fin. This tiny little deformed fin. That whisker is all the way out here. Look at the width. Look at the size of that beast. There he goes. Woo! And that right there is how you transfer a boatload of monster, monster freshwater fish into their new pond. And that is all I've got for you guys today. I am here right now, currently in Puerto Rico. I'm in Puerto Rico for some business. I'm gonna be here for the next couple of days. I cannot wait to get, of course, back home and show you guys all the fish and how they're doing. We got them all moved, finally. It's been months and months on just the whole pond building process and then, of course, moving all those fish. Here's a little snapshot that I took the other night when the lights were on and it looks just amazing. I wanna say thank you so much for all the support you guys give me watching all these videos, allowing me to do exactly what I'm doing right now. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I'm so excited to share what we've got coming. Of course, there's always crazy stuff going on, you know that. But the freshwater monsters are officially out of the building which leads us to the empty pond inside the building where we're getting the sharks soon So cool stuff coming make sure you subscribe down below smash the like button and I uh, hope to see you here in the very next video Peace out Kaferos